Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond, and in this video, I want to crank out the challenge solution to the challenge prompt I released yesterday, Hazy Days. And that is uh, the day before, the day after tomorrow is Sunday. So if Kristen had to take her cat to the vet the day before, the day before, the day after tomorrow, when was that? So we can figure this out pretty easily just by thinking through it. If we know the day before, the day after tomorrow is all one quantity, and that's equal to Sunday, easy enough. We just want to know the day before that whole quantity. And if that's Sunday, we just know the day before that is Saturday. So let's, uh, I'll, just, I'll just display this out here. If I run that solve function, and uh, I guess, just to talk about it a little bit more. If we have today, today being, let's see, the day before, the day after tomorrow. So we know tomorrow is today plus one. The day after tomorrow is that tomorrow plus one, because it's another day after that. And we want to know the day before that. So we will subtract one. And since those two will cancel out, we'll now have today plus one, which is equal to tomorrow, right? So that's saying that tomorrow is what is equal to Sunday. That means the day before it would be today, which would also be Saturday. That's easy enough to figure out, at least mentally. Let's see if we can get Python to figure that out for us. So this is, like I said, this isn't really necessary to do through a... I'm going to import a module here. I'm going to import Calendar, which is a cool module or library to handle dates and time stuff. If you haven't seen it before, definitely check out the documentation. Uh, but yeah, so this code isn't necessary, but it's a good exercise. And if it, if you haven't seen Calendar before, it would uh, be a, a good excuse to look into it. So Calendar has this cool thing, uh, calendar.dayName. And that's essentially a list of weekday names. So I can print out calendar.dayName0, and that's Monday. Day name one will be Tuesday, etc., etc., and it, it acts kind of like a list. Like we can check out the length and everything, blah blah blah. We can iterate through it. We can do for day in calendar .day name and we can print the day, etc., etc., etc. But it is not actually a list. Like I'll show you this. If I print this out, it's actually a calendar localized day index. So I can't run dot index of Sunday like a numerical value of Sunday. So we're going to have to fix that up really easily. We can just do some list comprehension like that. We can use weekdays equals, I guess, uh, weekday for weekday in a calendar dot day name, which seems pretty dumb, right? <laughs> because we're literally just looping through a list to get a list out of it. But now we should have weekdays that we can actually access and see it now. So now it's a full, it's a full list. Sweet. So that's just a simple one-liner, but let's see if we can actually have Python figure out now to what today would have been. I'm going to do that with SymPy, since right now we can have a numerical value of Sunday. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to actually be uh, 7, like I'm sure you'd expect it to be. Like if we started, or I guess 0 in this case, if we started the week on, week of Sunday as day 0 in the week, or the first day of the week, it's fine to have it be, okay, it is 0 right now. Perfect. Whatever. Regardless, the value doesn't particularly matter. We should still be able to figure out a value. Let's watch this. If I actually do today equal to a, a symbol in uh, Senpai, so we just have a variable for it, now we can pretty much solve an equation, right? We can say the day, I'm just going to use that to uh, store the value, the day equals Senpai.solve, and we'll set up an equation. We'll say that today, being the current day, just like I did earlier, today plus one is going to be tomorrow. The day after it is going to be plus another one, the day after. So I'm just going to compress that to plus two, right? And the day before that, so minus one, which is, again, plus one, which is going to equal Sunday. So, again, this really just mentally, or at least programmatically, like an equation, we'll solve the same mental equation that we just did earlier. But you can express it as explicitly if you want to because that's you're just doing it your own way. And let's just set that equation equal to um, weekdays dot index of Sunday. So if we're saying the day the day after tomorrow and the day before that expanded out really is equal to Sunday, we want to be able to solve for today. Now if I print out the day, oh, it'll tell us, oh, 
Senpai. Symbols. My bad. Five. It tells us the day is being five. Now I'll just get the first value out of that. So numeric value. Now I can print out weekdays indexed at the day zero. And it'll tell us that, hey, that day is Saturday. So now today is pretty much Saturday. That's what we just solved for. And that was everything we already conceptually figured out, right? We're saying that today plus one being tomorrow, the day after that plus one, and then minus one being the day before that is equal to Sunday. So you simplify all this math out. You solve for today. And that's easy enough. We're just having Python do that for us. And we're using, we're creating a, a cool little list of weekdays that we just kind of put together in a one-liner with the challenge, uh, I'm sorry, with the calendar library. Set up an, uh, an equation, which we pretty much just solve for very easily because it's such a simple equation. We're just telling Python to do it for us. So easy enough. That's how we solved hazy days. And since this is kind of extensible, we could do this for any challenge like this, which we'll probably see it uh, again maybe soon. But that's how you can work with those mind-bending, time-bending uh, problems that you might see. But again, this one was pretty easy. But again, conceptually having Python do it for us is kind of cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this. I'll see you later.